Hey y'all, it's Joseph Flipper, and grabbing a mobile goal is one of the more challenging parts of the game. Grabbing a mobile goal really, really securely can be really hard, and I released a video earlier in the year on how I made my initial grabber, and that's kind of an older design. It doesn't work too well at this point in the season. It had some flaws with it, and it wasn't perfect. And there are some much, much more modern designs out there, and I want to share with you my favorite one. This one I use on my robot, other teams use it on their robots all across the country, all across the world, and they this grabber has won signature events and all kinds of events like that. And this grabber, although it is not a locking clamp, that means it doesn't have an over center mechanism, and the reason for that is that's super complicated and hard to get working. And this clamp is super easy to build, super easy to tune, it doesn't have that extra complexity of a locking clamp, but it still has the strength of one. The way the forces work, as soon as you're clamped, you can sh lift up the whole robot and shake it around, and it won't let go of the goal. It's super, super strong. I've never lost a goal with this clamp, and you can't grab it out. So let me show you how it works. All right, here's the goal grabber. It's super easy to build. It's just a couple components. We've got two standoffs back here. These two are in charge of grabbing onto the goal and tilting it to the right point. These two screws here, these screws keep the goal in place, keep anyone from grabbing it, and hold it at the right spot. And this bar right here, that is the bottom bar that the goal rests on while it's being grabbed, and this bar back here, that one keeps the goal from tilting too much into the robot. So how it works is you can put the goal in, and you can see it stops when it goes into the right point. And any orientation does this, you can't put it in the wrong position. And that's actually the really cool part about this grabber, is you can't get the goal in the wrong position at all, ever. So I just put it in like this, I can grab it, and now it's grabbed. No one can grab it, it's not gonna fall out. This isn't a locking clamp, but it's more than strong enough for anything that you would need. It also, you can tilt it, you can really easily change how much it tilts the goal to make sure that no one else can clamp onto it. Um, this is a good tilt for this robot. Um, it can just, chain goes on, over like that, scores the ring on. Um, and obviously it works on the corners as well. Same deal here. This, this clamp is really, really good at tilting the goal the same for any orientation of the goal. And if you're like, hey, what if my tilt isn't just right? How do I change that? That's the really cool thing about this grabber. If you just change the length of these screws right here on the ends of the standoffs, if you put some more spacers in, it'll make it tilt more. If you take some spacers out or make the standoff shorter, it'll make it tilt less. Let me show you. So I've just added some eighth inch spacers on the end of the screws right here, and those just increase the length a little bit. And so now if I try and grab it, it'll tilt it even more. So I grab it, and now you can see that the flaps when they go around are hitting that little rubber cap. They weren't doing that before. It's probably at least half an inch closer than it was before. And obviously you can fine tune this with just the right length of spacers and put more spacers in to tilt it more, less spacers in to tilt it less. You can also change the length of these screws to adjust further how much the goal tilts, how well it tilts, all that. But that's the key to how you adjust it. So if you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, this is something that I might wanna build, go ahead and click the link in the description below and I'll send you all the details, close-up pictures, a video of how this clamp really works and why it works the way it does. And that should really help you get started on building your clamp on your robot. Now, when you're building this, you're gonna to want to keep a few things in mind. The first thing is our piston placement. Our pistons right back here, go down and push it down like that. Now, mine aren't that great, but what you want to happen is you want a 90 degree angle from here to here. You can see I have like already greater than 90 degree and when it grabs, it's a pretty steep angle. So that's not fantastic, but you get maximum strength out of your pistons when you're this angle to this angle right there. If that's 90 degrees, that'll get you maximum leverage. And for this mobile goal grabber, it works fine because it already grabs it well enough. Another thing you'll want to keep in mind is the length of this thing. This bar right here, it can be a little bit longer. I wouldn't make it any shorter than this, um, but you can adjust the length of that and see if that works better for your robot. And lastly, these pistons are what we call single acting. That means that there's only air going into one side of the piston. The other side of the piston doesn't have anything plugged into it. There's a little empty hole right back there uh, where there's no air. So how does that work? If we only put air into one side, what brings it back? Well, the answer is, is these rubber bands right here. There's a rubber band here, rubber band here. So when it goes down, then it gets rubber banded back up when you let go. 
So if I'm the air pressure, it pushes it down. As soon as the air pressure lets go, it'll go back up because these rubber bands. And the reason you do that is to save half of your air. Now you're only using air going into one side when you push it down, because that's the only way you need strength. You don't need strength when you're pulling it back up. You just need that strength when you're pushing it down to clamp the goal. So we put air into only one side of the cylinder, and then when the cylinder extends, it has air pressure. When it retracts, it's just a rubber band. So it's a super easy way to save air. Um, this robot is only running one air tank, and it works on plenty of actuations for a match with just one because of using single acting pistons. So that's what you need to know about building a mobile gold clamp for VEX high stakes. Go ahead and click that link in the description below for all the details on that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.